Okay, so this is C of question two. The reason I started making a, a, another video here is that I figured out that my calculator doesn't actually use the function that um, doesn't have the function that I need in order to solve this. So please make sure that you do have a calculator that can do this. Let me do this question from scratch. So it says, Lulu invests 20,000 Rad at an interest rate of 4% per annum compounded annually. After how many completed years will it take for her to invest to be worth for investment to be worth at least 25,000 rand okay so please note here it says completed years so if you get a decimal answer you can't just leave it as a decimal answer you actually have to make sure that you are writing it as a completed year so what I did is I said okay I see that it's compounded annually that means that I'm dividing my interest rate by one if you divide by one it doesn't mean anything so you can just leave it as my interest rate of four percent compounded annually Right, what does that indicate to me? I have to use the compound, compound interest formula. You could be saying, oh, where did you get that from? You get it from the formula sheet, right? So there it is on the formula sheet, compound. This is simple, right? You could be saying, well, why don't I use these guys? These guys here are for installments. Are there a bunch of installments here? What do I mean by installments? Regular payments? No, there's just one payment. So I just use this formula. I started with 20,000. I won 25,000, my interest rate was zero was 4%, which can be written as 0 0.04, and I want to solve for N, which is my time period, right, which is my exponent. So we know that we're going to be using our good old friend log, right? And you could be saying, oh, it's not my good old friend, but he is a good old friend because he helps us solve for unknown exponents. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tidy up a bit. 25,000 divided by 20,000, you get five over four. I just sort of cleaned up my um, uh, my bracket here, and then I got to the stage here. Then I used log, right? Log says use the base of my exponent as the base for log. Put my answer into log, and then that will equal my exponent. So I said that my calculator couldn't do this, but on inspection it can. So there's your log function there. So I'm saying 1.04, I'm saying five over four, and that is going to equal my n value. So n here is going to be 5.7. You could be saying, oh Margie, why did you put 5.7 as opposed to 5.689? Because on the front of the paper, it said to two decimal places. So please be careful there, right? But again, what did the question say? How many completed years, right? Will it take for her investment to be worth at least 25,000 Rand? 5.7 is not a completed number, but we know that when n equals 6 years, it is a completed year, and she would have had over 25,000 Rand, right? And then that is us done. It is a nice question to do with logs. It's a nice question to do with finance. So it's a good one to, to understand. So please make sure that you know how to do it. Importantly, know how to put it into your calculator.